Pollination is a crucial process in the reproductive cycle of flowering plants, enabling the transfer of pollen from the male. Part answer to the female part stigma of a flower. This process can occur in two primary ways, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Understanding these concepts is essential for students and anyone interested in plant biology. Along with examples and diagrams for better comprehension, advantages and disadvantages of cross-pollination. Here listed the advantages and disadvantages of cross-pollination. Advantages Genetic diversity promotes genetic variation, enhancing plant adaptability and resilience to environmental changes. Hybrid vigor Cross-pollination can result in hybrid vigor, producing stronger and more robust offspring. Disadvantages Dependence on pollinators relies on external agents, which may not always be available, potentially limiting reproduction. Energy intensive requires more energy to produce attractants like nectar. Scent and brightly colored flowers. Self-pollination and cross-pollination diagram. Diagrams are instrumental in understanding the processes of self-pollination and cross-pollination. In self-pollination, the pollen moves within the same flower or plant. In cross-pollination, pollen travels from one plant to another, facilitated by wind, water, or animals. Visual representations can highlight these differences and illustrate the roles of various pollinators. Self-pollination and cross-pollination diagram. Thank you for watching till the next video.